Domino, sit in gloria, give it O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, grace and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. We adore you, O most holy Lord Jesus Christ, here in all your churches throughout the world, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The love of Christ has gathered us together. Let us rejoice in him and be cheerful. Let us love the living God and love his other with honest hearts. Let us take care not to be isolated in ourselves. Let ill will, quarrels, and disagreements stop, and Christ our Lord be among us. Let us pray. Father in heaven, you have made us for yourself. Our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Fulfill this longing through Jesus, the bread of life, so that we may witness to him who alone satisfies the hungers of the human family. By the power of your Spirit, lead us to the heavenly table where we may feast on the vision of your glory forever and ever amen A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. We know that God makes all things work together for the good of those who have been called according to his decree. Those whom he foreknow, he predestined to share the image of his son, that the son might be the firstborn of many brothers. Those he predestined, he likewise called. Those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he in turn glorified. What shall we say after that? If God is for us, who can be against us? Is it possible that he who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for the sake of us all, will not grant us all things besides? We shall bring a charge against God's chosen ones. God who justifies. We shall condemn them. Christ Jesus, who died or rather was raised up, who is at the right hand of God and who intercedes for us. Who will separate us from the love of Christ, trial or distress or persecution or hunger, nakedness or danger or the sword? As scripture says, for your sake we were being slain all day long. We are looked upon as sheep to be slaughtered. Yet in all this, we are more than conquerors because of him who has loved us. For I am certain that neither death nor life, neither angels nor principalities, neither the present nor the future, nor powers, neither height nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God that comes to us in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, Let me solemnly assure you, if you do not eat my, the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. He who feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has life eternal, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood real drink. The man who feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the Father who is life sent me, and I have life because of the Father. So the man who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and died nonetheless, the man who feeds on this bread shall live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Vieni nel mio cuore, 
Thank you. 